Great. Well, Daniel just wanted to mention, first of all, 15 wins in a row. Can you just talk about this incredible run that you're on? Yeah, it's nice. I actually don't know about all the tennis records. I know that Novak and uh, Rafa Roger probably all have about 40. Andy Murray had a lot, so I'm actually wondering. Uh, are there a lot of players who were able to do it, especially it was a, a strong tournament, you know? Uh, Bercy London and uh, ATP Cup, uh, not an easy tournament, so it's great. Hopefully I can, uh, can get as many matches uh, as possible uh, going. Great. Let me turn over online, Louis. A reminder to those of you online, any questions for Daniil, please use the raise your hand function. Willie from ESPN, you can get us started. How would you describe the state of your game right now and the level of confidence that you're playing with? Um, it's always a bit uh, tough to talk about it in uh, the beginning of the season, but... Uh, I think an ATP Cup, for example, against... Uh, I mean, it's it's also a strange uh, situation we're at right now. You know, we uh, for two weeks, uh, we, even if I was uh, really lucky to not be in hard quarantine, still, you cannot do everything you want to prepare, let's say, 100% the tournament. So uh, then we had this day where we didn't know if the tournament is going to continue happening or not. So it's all uh, destabilizing. That's why against, for example, Sasha Zverev, I think I didn't play uh, my best, uh, maybe... At the end, it was a little bit better. Against Matteo, was a really good match. First two matches, I maybe think I could have done something better. So it goes uh, from match to match. Every match is different uh, because the situation is different. Um, but uh, I'm feeling confident. Uh, winning uh, almost everything in straight sets is is important. So I'm feeling confident about myself. I know that I can do well, uh, but uh, Grand Slam is not an easy thing. What are your thoughts about the absence of lines people and the use of electronic lines calls and maybe the future for that? Yeah, tough to say because for sure, uh, let's say like this, some people are losing job probably because of this, like in many spheres in, in our modern world, you know, it's, uh, it's not only tennis, but uh, if we talk about uh, what is fair, um, like, uh, like again, as I say, like in every other sport, uh, technology is, uh, uh, even if they make some mistakes sometimes, they make less mistakes than people. So uh, at least uh, it's uh, one less uh, reasons to get frustrated. So I would say I support them. Thank you. Thank you. If there are any more questions for Daniil, please use the raise your hand function. Otherwise, we will conclude this press conference. Gonzalo from BA Tennis, when you're ready. Hi, Daniel. Thinking about you won in, in Paris, then the ATP Finals, and now the, the ATP Cup, do you feel the favourite for, for this Australian Open? Uh, me, I just uh, try to, to win matches. Um, after, uh, yeah, I get asked uh, this question a lot, so... If people uh, consider me as a favorite, it's actually a good job because, uh, I mean, I worked uh, all my life to be uh, f uh, one of the, let's say, top uh, players in the world. So I'm happy that uh, I'm part of them right now. But, uh, you know, you need to win seven matches. I just won one, so I need to win six more against uh, very strong opponents, all of them in uh, out of five sets. So you need... Uh, uh, how many sets is it? It's uh, 18 sets more you need to win, which is uh, a lot. Uh, it's like nine uh, three-set matches. So uh, I take it step by step. 